Ooh. Got some little cute, sexy vibes going on. I'm here. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So it's your girl April. This is like the last video of the day for me. Let me tell y'all about this wig company because I'm really feeling this wig, y'all. So this is by Y Wigs, okay? Comes in this little box. They had this thing rolled up really good, okay? Like for real. This is YWigs.com. Why? Like Y Wigs, okay? And they sent me their Malaysian Body Wave. <clears throat> Malaysian Body Wave, 250% density, 22-inch lace frontal. Okay. This hair is so pretty. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm loving these type of curls lately. So I've been wanding it up like crazy. The bigger the barrel, the bigger the curls, and they're going to be looser. So you have to use, like, more or less, like, a smaller barrel, and you have to put enough hair on it. Not too much, but enough, okay, to where you're holding that sucker for, like, at least a minute to a minute and a half just to make sure that the heat penetrates. So that's what I do, and um, I love it. I do love it. Now, I don't really do the middle parts. Y'all already know, because I be saying, like, for real, my forehead is long. Like, my head is long. Not my forehead, but my head in general is long. And let me tell y'all this real quick. So the other day, I was going through, like, old photos, like, old old photos from like back like in 2011 which is like you know what I'm saying eight seven years ago I was looking at pictures back then and I was trying to compare my head size like to like now to the present day because you know how your hair thin out and you think like your hair is like my hairline is pushing back this is what I'm thinking to myself like I think this all the time and I get really paranoid and so then I started looking at old photos not because of that reason I was just looking at old photos and then I started looking at the hairline and I was like oh your hair, your head is actually long like that. Like, you know, okay, like, okay, listen. Now, before I even started wearing wigs, I never really thought of my head as being long or my forehead or my hairline being like, you know, back here. I never really thought about that. I just, that was me and I would just be myself and go about my business wearing my own hair, like my own hair that grew on my scalp. And then once you start wearing wigs all the time, you know, you could pull them down a little bit. You can make yourself a hairline. Like for me, I can make myself a hairline. I could pull it down a little bit and I would still be a acceptable because I do have a long head. Maybe not like the longest head in the world, like a horse head, but it's long enough to where I could just pull it down some and you would not even know that that's not where my hairline is at and that I got myself a new hairline. So anyway, the moral to the story is I was basically paranoid that my hairline was slipping back, but it's not because I looked at old photos and I actually do still have the same hairline as I had before I even started wearing wigs. So let's just get that out. I'm happy about that. But it did thin on the edges. But, you know, at least my hairline did not push back. So anyway, so I went ahead and I bleached the knots of this wig, okay? I bleached the knots of it. Yes, really pretty, came out nice. I kind of like bleached a little bit too much in one little spot, but it's not noticeable. It is a lace frontal, so you cannot part it all over the place. Um, and you could see that I bleached it. And it does have the combs right here in the front and in the middle and a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape. Along with that, I took the liberty of sewing in an elastic band. So that way the sucker could be just snug as a bug on my head. So when I when I washed it, I brushed it, and some of the hair did come out, you know what I mean? I did pre-pluck the hairline on it, and I'm not really sure if that had anything to do with it, but this is the process that I do. First, I bleach it, and then I rinse the bleach out. Then I let it air dry, and then I go back in to, you know what I'm saying, tweezing the knots out or thinning the hairline out and then I will re like we wash it again so for this video I'm not going to be putting on a stocking cap because let me tell y'all I like it without a stocking cap okay because it just melts better in my skin plus I use my two cornrows now for the comb so that way I really don't have to do a lot so yes honey I will anchor them combs right in my cornrows right here so that way they'll pull out my edges like it did all right so yes <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let's just talk about, this is a damn good lace. This is like a damn good lace. Like for real, this is a damn good lace. Like look at that. Now I already brushed the baby hairs down in here before I even put the 
you know, while I was styling it. But this is a damn good lace. Like, mm-hmm. Look how nicely it just like melts. Like, hello. Look how transparent that is on my skin. See, I don't even need a freaking um wig cap because this is perfect. So the only thing that I have to do is give me my sideburns because I need those. I definitely need those. I didn't have to do anything. I did most of the work off camera, like the baby hairs. Like, I don't even know if you want to call these baby hairs because they're really not. They're just wispies. They're just a little bit of flyaway hairs. They're not glued down. They were just basically brushed down into place. And then I just put some hairspray and then laid them down. And that was it. So basically what I did was I brushed it into kind of like a sculpt on the lace. And then once I cut the lace off, the ends are still curved up. So that way it's not like straight, straight on your head, on your head, it's on your face. It's just kind of like, you know, but this is like some damn good lace. This is really some good lace for real. So I'm just going to take my comb and I'm going to cut me out some baby hairs. Not, excuse me, not baby hairs, but my edges. I mean, my sideburns. Like that, honey. And the cap fits perfect. Like, I didn't even have to cut any edges off of it. Because look how perfect it fits. It just fits perfectly over the ear. This is like a really good wig. And then I'm just going to take my eyebrow trimmer. And... I'm going to take some of my favorite styling mousse and I'm going to sculpt my sideburns down because I already I always need these I don't know why it's just a force to have it you know I don't need baby hairs especially if the hairline is bomb with some pump it up like this If you ever have a wig, it's like, save the best for last, or, well, not that, but you just have something that, you just like, let me just save the best for last, that, that's how I feel about this wig. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just brush those little hairs down that was there. This is like some good lace. Now I'm going to let this air dry for a few, and then while that's air drying, I'm going to go over to here, cut me in some sideburns real quick. And you wanna you wanna make sure that you're not using the same brush to brush the edges down if you don't want them to stick as you would use for the actual pasting down of your sideburns. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't use this. I'm trying not to use this on this hair because I don't really want it to get wet, you know. Now, this was supposed to just be about the elastic band. You're supposed to just put it on with the elastic band. And that's what it is. It's held down with the elastic band. But for some reason, I want this to be like laid to my head. I really don't know why I want it to be adhered to my head. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to spritz a little bit at a time. But I'm going to definitely make sure that these hairs right here are out of the way of the hairspray. And I'm going to spray on the lace directly. If you want to take your fingers and do it, that's fine. That way you don't you make sure none of it is running down onto the hairs. I'm going to blow dry. So now it's stuck down. Now you just stab. You know, style on them, you know, because this is definitely a look. It looks cute, aren't it? 
a little wax stick, honey, for the little flowers. But let me tell you about the wax stick. I don't really like to use it too much because it will have your hair looking all greasy and stuff. Take your fingers, honey, and run them through the hair, baby. Now these curls, girl, are for what? This is nice, you guys. Like, hello. Like, for real, this is like a boss wig. Because, you know what? The hairline is bomb ass on this wig. It's straight hair, but let me tell you, I curled nice. Like, normally when I do straight hair, I cannot get, like, these perfect wand curls. Like, I can, but you know how straight hair be all over the place and then it don't stay? The curls don't come out saying, this came out good. Like, these curls came out good in this hair, for real. Plus, the hairline is bomb, okay? 22 inches. It's 250% density, so you're getting a nice amount of hair. This lace is bomb as hell. Like, look, this is some bomb-ass lace. Like, I'm sorry I had to curse and say that, but it really is. For real, for real. This wig is shit popping, okay? Um, I like it. It didn't give me no problems when I washed it and stuff, when I bleached it, nothing. It didn't give me no problems at all. The cap fits perfect. Like, I didn't have to go behind the ear and, like, cut off anything extra. Like, the cap fits perfect. So, I'm going to give this on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give this, like, I don't really give 10s a lot. I don't even know when I gave a 10 the last time. But I don't even know. But I'm going to give this definitely a 10. Like, they did everything for this wig, so I'm giving them props. Take it from me, this is a really nice wig. Like, seriously, this is a really nice wig. This is like a boss wig because a boss ain't got to do shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? A boss don't really have to do much. Ooh. Got some little cute, sexy vibes going on. You feel so check out why wigs i will post all the information below for them along with any coupon codes that i may have like i don't really know if i got some but i know they be having a sale so definitely check them out this is a bomb wig so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you rate comment subscribe you know thumbs this video up share it you know do all that good stuff for you girl i love you make sure you leave some comments below hope you have a nice evening and i'll see you in a soon to come video